Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure for me to welcome you to the National Academy's workshop on the utility, feasibility, and ethics of a coronavirus travel pass. My name is Abby Voino. I'm with the Division of Global Migration and Quarantine at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. We have a lot to cover over the next few days. The focus of, of this week's workshop will be on the opportunities and limitations related to the development, use, and adoption of verifiable COVID-19 credentials when it comes to ensuring safe international travel. I'm looking forward to discussing these issues with all of you. We have speakers from around the world who will be contributing perspectives from a, from a variety of uh, from a variety of disciplines, from domestic and international governments, multilateral health and business organizations, academia, private industry, and the nonprofit sector. Today's session will cover public health policy and communication considerations related to verifiable COVID-19 credentials. My colleague, Dr. Saskia Pet. Popescu will share the specifics of today's discussion with you shortly. Tomorrow, we will transition to a discussion uh, related to sources of data, security and privacy issues, and considerations uh, related to interoperability and governance. More specifically, we will discuss means of accessing verifiable or accessing and verifying vaccination status for the purposes of generating verifiable credentials. We will explore methods of ensuring the security and privacy of inter individuals, personal health information, and we will talk through issues related to interoperability and governance. During the second half of tomorrow's session, we'll be joined by a group of panelists with firsthand experience developing and rolling out verifiable credentials. They'll answer questions and share lessons learned. On the final day of the workshop, we will focus on privacy, legal, and and ethical considerations, along with business and economic issues. During that session, we will explore US and international legal considerations related to the use of verifiable credentials for international travel and privacy protections of health information. We will discuss ethical concerns around creating barriers to travel, maintaining fairness with unequal access to vaccination and testing, and the impact of access to vaccines on equity in the global south. Finally, we will talk through the impact of verifiable credentials on the transportation and tourism and business sectors. As representatives of multiple disciplines, I invite you to engage in active discussion during our question and answer sessions, and thank you for doing so. And now I will turn it over to my colleague, Dr. Popescu, who will introduce today's session. Saskia? Hi, thanks so much. And Thank you and good morning to everybody. This workshop comes at a particularly poignant time in the pandemic as we are struggling against the more transmissible Delta variant, which has quickly become the dominant strain in many countries. As COVID-19 cases have risen over 300% in the past few weeks within the United States and across many countries, we're struggling. Nigeria and Malaysia are struggling with daily high case counts. And this is just among a handful of countries that I'm discussing. The roles of vaccines though have never been more important Last week, and following a significant third wave, the United Kingdom actually quarantined, or I'm sorry, relaxed quarantine requirements for those fully vaccinated from the United States and the EU. As we navigate perhaps one of the most challenging aspects of the COVID-19 pandemic, how we approach vaccine status is increasingly important, but also inherently complex. Vaccine distribution is far from equitable and poses a threat to not only global mitigation and control, but also ethical implications of mandates and requirements for entries into countries. Today, we will discuss several key topics related to COVID-19 and how the epidemiological characteristics, likely need for boosters, variants, and public health dynamics of disease may impact the use of vaccine travel passes. Moreover, we will discuss the hurdles of documentation and communication of these strategies as credentials, requirements, and of this magnitude especially requires quite a Herculean effort Thank you to our speakers for sharing insight that will help guide us through the complexities of COVID-19 credentials for international travel. These will be engaging and important discussions and we encourage the audience to submit questions on the platform throughout these presentations. We'll follow the last presentation with the Q&A and you can learn more about our speakers actually within their bios that's been sent out. 